Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to review the Chapter 9 uh, Mid-Chapter Checkpoint on pages 379 and 380 of your textbook. So let's start with the vocabulary section. We're looking for the words decimal, decimal point, hundred, and hundredth. A symbol used to separate the ones and the tenths place is called a what? A symbol. That would be a decimal point. The number four tenths is written as a decimal. A blank is one of 100 equal parts of a whole. That would be hundredths. Okay, number four. Write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal shown by the model. So we have 10 parts, and four of them are shaded. So we have four tenths, and we would write that as 0 0.4. Number five, the whole, all 100 parts is shaded in one of them, and then three parts of the next 100. So we have one and three Hundredths. Write that as a decimal as one and three hundredths. One point zero three. Number six, write the number as hundredths in fraction form and decimal form. As hundredths. So right now this is eight tenths. So we're going to rewrite that into hundredths by multiplying by ten. Now we have a denominator of 100, 100, and 8 times 10 is 80. So fraction form is 80 hundredths, and its decimal form is 0 0.80. Number 7. So right now this is 5 tenths. We can multiply that by 10 again. One, 10 times 10 is 100, and 5 times 10 is 50. So as a fraction in hundredths, it's 50 hundredths. And the decimal is 0 0.50. 6 tenths. Multiply by 10 over 10, we get 60 hundredths. That value written as a decimal is 0 0.60. Number nine, write the fraction or mixed number as a money amount and as a decimal in terms of dollars. So 65 one hundredths, uh, 65 hundredths. So we don't have one dollar, we have less than a dollar. So it would be 65 cents. And as a decimal, it's actually written the same way, just no dollar sign. Number 10, we have one whole, and then we have a second part that is less than a dollar. So we have one dollar and 48 cents. As a decimal, it's just 1.48. Number 11, four hundredths. So that's just four cents. Four hundredths as a decimal, same as the money amount, just without the dollar sign. Okay, 380. Number 12. Ken's turtle competed in a 50 hundredth meter race. His turtle had traveled 49 hundredth meter when the winning turtle crossed the finish line. What is 49 hundredths? written as a decimal. Zero point four nine. Alex lives eight tenths of a mile from Sarah. What is eight tenths written as a decimal? Zero point four nine. 
0 0.8. What fraction in hundredths is equivalent to 1 tenth? So 1 tenth, we'll multiply by 10 to make the denominators hundredths. And 10 times 1 is 10, so 10 hundredths. 15. Elaine found the following in her pocket. How much money was in her pocket? Oh, yeah, well, we have a dollar here. 25. 35. 40. We can write our amounts. 25 plus 10 is 35. 35 plus 5 is 40, plus the dollar, so $1.40. Number 16. Three girls share 60 cents. Each girl gets the same amount. How much money does each girl get? So I could draw a picture of this. I'm going to make it into 10 dimes. Uh, not 10 dimes, um, 6 dimes. Okay, and we have three girls. So I'll say one, two, three. So each girl can get at least one dime. And then I see I have three dimes left. So each girl will get two dimes. Two dimes is 20 cents. Yeah, I could have also done six divided by three to get two dimes each. Six would have been because there are six dimes in 60 cents. There's three girls, six divided by three. Each girl would get two dimes. And 17. The deli scale well, well, weighs meat and cheese in hundredths of a pound. Sam put five-tenths pound of pepperoni on the deli scale. What weight does the deli scale show? All right, so our question is, what weight does the deli, weight, does the deli scale show? He put five-tenths pound, but it measures it in hundredths. So all I have to do is change five-tenths into hundredths. And we're going to do that by multiplying by 10 over 10. 5 times 10 is 50. So his scale shows 50 hundredths or 0 0.50 pounds. Half, uh, half pound. All right, so that's that was really it for the mid-chapter checkpoint. Um, I'm confident you're going to do really well on this mid-chapter checkpoint. So until our next chapter, we're going to be adding fractional parts of 10 and 100 in our next session. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.